Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 2! Today we're catching a spider! But first of all, let me just say that the next area coming up is pretty cheap. And also remember to save a lot. Um, okay. So, yeah, we need to find a box. But, um, that's only what we were told. If you talk to him again, he'll actually say... Something cage-like. A hat will work. And, if you guys remember, we can go right over here and get us a captain's hat. I ran around for the first minute of the video just trying to figure that out. So, you know. Yay. <laughs> okay. So, now that we got it, let's catch the stupid spider. Yes. Um, there! <laughs> We're off, son! Oh, I gotta move. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go. Okay. There's a dangerous spider! But don't panic. OMG! Yeah, I said that the last time, too. Did we put that whiskey in a cup? I'm confused. Also, do you see how big that thing is? It would eat our faces off. Forget fighting us. <laughs> Come on. Also, tell me how it fits in that hat. Something tells me the scale isn't quite right for this game. Kinda like world maps in Final Fantasy games. Yeah, I went there. But honestly, I mean, when you're walking around in the world map in a Final Fantasy game, don't you ever notice that you're a lot bigger than everything until you decide to use mini on yourself to get into a town? I guess. Then how does that work for Final Fantasy IV? Because you had to use mini to get ac to actually get into a town. So, yeah. Well anyway, this is a few hours after we caught the spider. The plane is on course and on schedule. Aw, oh, crap. You know, whenever you say stuff like that, stuff like this happens. The plane is shaking. Also, it's really hard to maneuver while the plane is shaking like this. Oh, the right wing engine is off. That's not good. Ah, perhaps this was a gospel thing, where he was bitten by the spider because gospel sent the spider to bite him, or something. I don't know how they did that. Maybe attach pheromones to him? Man, eh, it's possible. So, I basically explained my own thing. Net battlers, did you say net battler? Let's go! Before we crash and die. Before we crash and die. <laughs> uh... Oh, he says something pretty interesting. Yes. By interesting, I meant... No. Um, I wonder if these two are, like, grateful or anything. Huh, they put God into the game. Yo, what's up? You have a weird way of panicking. Hi, pilot! Captain. Taicho! Oh, I think that's the wrong kind of captain, actually. Because that's more like, you know... Commander Captain. Or maybe it is Captain, like, in a plane. I don't know. I only learn certain words from anime. Give me a break. Well, that explains a lot. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, the kid will save you, and if he doesn't, you know, you all lived good lives, I suppose? The kids, you know, didn't live long lives, just good. Anyway, we are here in the right wing program. And we are getting magnetized. So that's basically the uh, gimmick for this place. It's not a tough gimmick in any way, shape, or form. That's not what I'm worried about. But you guys might see him later. Because there is a certain enemy in here that is super cheap safe state that I forgot to do last time. Okay. So yeah, basically there are magnets everywhere. Magnet tracks that you can only go one direction. It's 
not too hard to maneuver around, honestly. Um, I think he's new, so I'll show him off. Besides, there is a new gimmick here that I've been learning. So let's see. Guts man. Okay. <clears throat> if you see these uh, red and blue panels everywhere, I screwed that up pretty royally. Uh, you. Okay. If you see these blue panels, you'll notice that I'm getting drawn into it, and I'm going to get killed here. Um, wow, this is really fair. Roll. She'll probably run right into the time bomb, which will destroy it, I hope. I really hope. I get nothing for my hope. Ow. Oh wait, I could have gone around. Whoops. So yeah, anyway, if you're standing directly above or below those panels, because there are arrows showing you this, but um, on either side, but uh, if you stand on either side of them, you get drawn onto that square almost immediately. So, it makes battling kind of interesting here. And I'm gonna actually save again. But, um, yeah, there's one enemy in here, and he just kind of ruins it for me, let me tell you. Because this area is pretty fun otherwise. I mean, it's got a cool gimmick. Oh god, it's him. And he's even accompanied by a cannon this time. This is gonna end well. Okay. Yeah, you see that? He's like a super fast version of a satellite. The only way you can kill him is by going super fast and killing him. Which isn't an easy task, to be sure. <clears throat> but I just kind of lucked out there got, uh, by getting a sword. Ooh, a high cannon. I can use that. Yes. I actually have multiples. Well, I'll just stick with the one I got right now. Okay, safe state. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that a lot. Luckily, you know... Save states aren't too bad, they just are a faster way to save, because you can save anywhere in this game. Ahem. <coughs> hmm. Actuate the demagnetizers. One for red, one for blue. So yeah, basically to get around, you need to deactivate these tracks. Uh, you can't go up because there's a blue one. And you can go either... Oh, I remember this. You go this way, and you can get a thing. 3,000 zenos. Pretty nice. Oh, and here we have the uh, other new enemy of this place. Though I think there's one more that I remember in count. But um, let's use Time Bomb on him. Because it will kill him instantly. <laughs> uh, <coughs> well, they can steal your panels, so... Yeah, that's what they do. They're not a very tough enemy, to be sure. Also, uh, one second. Sorry, a bit of build-up in my throat here. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, now if you go take this track, you can go this way. Which leads you to the blue... Demagnetize... Ah, there they are! That's the other... That's the last new enemy, I believe, at this level. But, uh, Magnekers. They are... Weird bug things that are a combination of dash enemies and bomb enemies, like that. I'm not sure if their magnet bomb can actually hurt you, but I'm not about to test it. Because if it doesn't, it will trap me and I will die. So I kind of don't want to do that. Also, they are um, electric enemies, I believe, but um, I wouldn't even begin to know how to... Uh, what was the opposite of lightning again? I totally forgot. Anyway, let's head over to the D blue, mag blue demagnetizer, and now there are no blue magnetic fields. So that gives us access to other areas. I could have sworn there was a treasure at the end of that. I think this is around where I died. So, yeah, I didn't get very far without getting... Uh, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I got killed by a sparkler right around here. Oh, yeah, this is a full energy. So I'm going to use one of my full energies, because it's basically a free healing. And I'm going to take it very, very graciously. Because we're not going to come back around here anytime soon. We deactivated the blue demagnetizer. That's what we needed to do, after all. So, now we're here. And you can see that the blue thing is gone. 
so... Meteor is not that bad, but it's not great either. Anyway, let's go over here. Um, let's see, I can't go that way, but I can go this way. Um, hmm, there's a treasure over there. Or, and inside this little diamond thing, we find... Brass line. Is it like a fire line? Hmm. I'll look into that a little later, but... Uh, the secret to those, uh, sparklers is just getting unbelievably lucky. And now there are no red magnetic fields, so now we can travel wherever the heck we want. Which means now I can get over here. Um... Okay, interesting thing I just learned about the red UFO guys. They don't actually take your panel. If you're holding a chip, they'll take that. So... Oh. I guess that's it. Hooray! No! Yeah, I kinda figured that would happen. I mean, there's no just random extension to levels. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, now we are here. There's a bloom of demagnetizer right there, but I can't get to it immediately. What do you say? The tail of the program. Okay. Well, check it out. Hey! We got a Little Bomb star. Wait, Little Bomb? Isn't that what I think it is? Well, I'll just make sure. Yeah, it is. Hmm. That could be useful later. But right now, I'll just stay with the chip setup I got. Okay. Um, let's take this. Oh, I'm right back here. Okay, let's go this way then. I meant this way. <laughs> um, I need to deactivate the red one to deactivate the blue one. Okay. Good to know. Let's see. What's in here? 900 zennies. Well, it's been a sharp stick in the eye, I suppose. Oh, hey, that's a new enemy. A uh, flappy two. Or, is it new? Eh, who cares. Um, let's see. Kill the UFO because it is kind of a jerk. No! Ugh, oh, that's right, quick too. Um... Oh wait, I, it's not a cross bomb. Hmm, that could work. But only if I go up here. Goodbye. And let's just use roll because I need the healing. Alright, easy enough. But yeah, he basically is the effect of Quake 2. Nothing special. But I did show him off, so there you go. And for our efforts, 350 more zennies. Wow, we have a lot of zennies. Um, let's go this way. Oh, am I playing Ragnarok? Um, go this way. No, 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 I want to actually back over there. Because... No, wait, can't get over there. Okay, never mind, never mind. Well, this is a thing, but I don't know what it does. And that was just a circle. Pretty... Okay, well, that was strange. Um... I decided just to stop that whole thing that I thought of doing. Hey, I wonder if I have enough for, uh, roll two. <clears throat> Dang, not yet. Okay. Let's just go this way, then. I might switch it up. <clears throat> To, uh, something more powerful than roll in terms of healing, though. Um... Hmm. I don't know how to progress. Okay, um... Will I ever be able to make my way through the magnetic maze of doom and get to the red demagnetizer? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Number 2! Oh, yeah, also stop the plane from crashing and all, killing us all. Yeah, there's that. Anyway, until then, later guys.